Hey YouTubers, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm the Taylorette and I'm going to show you how to add a sash to the Civil War dress. Okay, one of the things that you would want to do when you're making a Civil War dress is make sure that you save all of your scraps. You might use it for something like this. Okay, so it looks like I have all these pieces. Not quite sure what's going on here, but I could probably use this for the big bow that I plan on doing because I want to do a three-tier bow looking type thing. Kind of like like this, maybe a little bit more spread out, and then scrunch it down the center. I don't know, something like that. Now, I actually like that. So thankfully, I have these pieces in my bin. I do need to make a few more. Now, the next step is we're going to make our two other um, bow pieces. Um, we need to account for a seam allowance too. So I... I folded this over this way so we could have two pieces cut, but this is folded, this one piece, and then the sides are stitched. I'm not sure if you can see that, but both sides have stitching on them. So what I'm going to do is fold it this way, and then I can place this on the fold kind of like that. And this is going to be on the fold. We're not going to cut this side because we want it to be double the length. Um, so we're cutting two pieces at one time. So basically um, this is 14 inches long this way. It's 14 that way. And then it's sit five and three quarter up this way. So 14 by five and three quarter. And I'm going to eyeball adding a half an inch on both sides. So I'm going to cut like this, all the way down, and then basically snip up this way, and then cut down this side, just like that. I'm eyeballing the half inch. It does not have to be perfect, although it doesn't hurt to be perfect, to try it at least. <laughs> um, so here we go. I'm gonna take my pins out. Here I have two of my pieces now of the sash or the bow. So you want two pieces. Let's measure that now. You want two pieces at 28 and a half by six and a half, about six and a half or six and three quarter. I would say six and three quarter. And then I'm going to save all that extra scrap. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold it this way and I'm actually going to stitch on both sides here. So let's go do that. Okay, so here we are about to stitch. All right, so here we are um, to the machine and it does, doesn't have to be perfect. I'm going to stitch half an inch all the way down on both sides of both pieces. Now what the next step is, is you're going to open up the other end like this and stick your hand in at the other side and pull it through just like that. Take the other one and do the same exact thing. All right, and we're gonna go to the other table and I'll show you how to do a few techniques on the iron. Okay, so this next step that we're gonna do is at the iron and we are going to make sure that the sides are nice and pressed. Okay, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm taking this side where I pressed or stitched it, and this is gonna be pointing up. So I want it to be pointing up all the way down. Press it up like that. I'm gonna stick my hand in there. And this makes it so that it's nice and flush with the fold because we don't want the seam to show. So I'm going to press that seam. When you press it up first, it helps it to be a lot easier to press right on the fold. Because if you just do it otherwise, there's gonna be all kinds of folds going on that you don't want in your bow. Just like that. We're gonna do the same thing to the other side. All right. And so I have my pieces and I'm ready to go back to the board. 
This is just kind of a rough draft. So basically what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fold each one in half like that. Get this folded here like that. This might be pinned to death, but do what it takes to get the right. I might do one more um, pleat. So I'm basically pleating it, just kind of eyeballing it. I don't have exact measurements. I'm just kind of doing it. And then perhaps I could squeeze it a little bit like that too. There's the set. All right, so the next test is I wanted to hold this up to the back and I kind of feel like that bow is actually too big. So what I might do is cut it down so that the bow is more like that. So it's not sticking out the sides. So it doesn't look like the dress has wings from the front. So maybe cut off about, let's see how long that is. About three inches is we're gonna make it a little shorter, three inches shorter. So I'm gonna make a bow in the back. So this is what the bow will look like once it's on the back. There's one side right there. Okay, and now adding the bow to the other side and just kind of rough drafting it right now. It's not gonna look exactly like this and it's not quite center, but we could always fix that with the center you know, put a little strap pulling it in a little bit more. So let's see what that looks like from the front because I really don't want this dress to look like it has wings. <laughs> nope, doesn't look like it. So I'm going to work on cutting out the little piece that goes here. Let's cut this up. I'm gonna cut it at four and a half inches. I'll show you why. Actually five, I'm gonna do five. All right, so the reason why I cut it at five inches is because I plan on folding it in half like this, and I'm gonna stitch it down that side. All right, and then we're gonna do what we did with the sashes and flip this inside out like this. Okay, so there I pressed it like I did, used that same technique I used on the bow, and this is ready to be used. So I decided to just sew it together then down the center because I think that would just make it so much easier so I don't have to deal with all of that extra flappy stuff everywhere. Okay, so I connected them both. and. Right, there we go. I think that's good enough for now. So I have the bow made and I probably should just hand stitch it and tack it all down. And that is exactly what I did. I just tacked it down where it needed to be and made sure it looked great in the front with the, the middle piece going down the middle and basically just do where you feel like it needs to be. And I had to measure all the way around the waist because I wanted to add a sash going all the way around and then put the bow on top of the sash in the back. And that was just to get a rough measurement. And then I found a scrap piece that seemed to be long enough. And there I found a piece that had a rolled hem and a selvage edge, which I just left it that way, pressed out the strip, and then I ended up folding to the back side the rolled hem part because I didn't want to have the rolled hem showing in the front. And then I ended up doing a lot of pleats, excuse my bird in the background. I just pleated it about three times and that seemed to do the job. I want it to emulate the front of the bodice where there's pleats on the bodice. And then I decided to pin it all the way around and it looks like it's matching pretty well like it goes with the theme of the dress and I had to take it off and I hand stitched it all the way or slip stitched it on the sides and all the way around the top as well. 
So I actually did, as I showed before, I stitched up here and now I'm going to be tacking down just randomly underneath these little pleats and then I should be giving it a pretty good press. And then the sash will be done around the waist. And here I am stitching it underneath the pleats because I don't want it to show on the top. And then I went ahead and started stitching the bow. Only stitched it on the right side of that middle strip going down the middle of the bow because I'll show you in a minute, but um, then I flipped the bow back and I stitched underneath the bow as well on the right side just to make sure it was all in place. And then I took this more like a hook type thing. I'm not sure exactly what it's called, like a clap, clamp or something. And I just stitched that on the left side of the bow and then I put the hook on that other side as well so that the bow can just kind of clip onto the other side and then voila! It is all finished and I'm super pleased with how it turned out and I do plan on selling this dress so if anyone is a size 2 this dress will fit you. It should be in the shop very soon. Um, make sure you keep an eye out in the shop and hit that subscribe button, like this video, and I will see you all next time. So when you're making a Civil War dress, you want to save any... Oh, there's no scraps in there. <laughs> Wrong bin.